crafty friends it's happy mail queen and it is sunday happy sunday to everybody i've been a little tied up these past couple of days of just family stuff just yesterday we were putting up lights in the backyard my husband put this huge canopy and anyway he wanted lights inside the canopy so yesterday was a little bit cooler, just a tad cooler. And so we did the lights outside and I got bit <laughs> by bugs. Oh my goodness. Um, but I also had an opportunity to finish up um, my resin because I had some boo-boos. <laughs> so I wanted to share it with you guys. I actually shared on Instagram, so uh, I hope you guys saw that. Um, so these were my previous letters. Remember, they were tacky. I let it sit for days and days, and it's still tacky. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is someone suggested just using nail polish. Um, I totally forgot to, to try to fix it, but it's really gummy, so I really don't think I can um, make it super hard. I thought it was hard here, but not really. So anyway, I could still use it though. I could always um, just stick it on a project and not use it as a keychain. So that's okay. Um, haven't had a chance to sand some of these, so I uh, didn't get to finish that. But I did uh, finally try the white casting resin. Uh, used the same brand, the Amazing resin and as much as I do love the look of it I do love the you know white finish the white matte finish I found it hard to work with because you have to be super quick and I completely forgot how quick well I've never worked with it actually so I just I'm sure on my some of my videos that I watched some of the videos I watched excuse me you don't have to stir that long when you're you're mixing but I kept stirring and I guess I got distracted I was thinking I was gonna stir for two minutes for some reason <laughs> that was way too long uh, the first batch just completely solidified inside the cup I mean I mean there wasn't even an in between in between like it got thick you know how you can tell if something's starting to cure it, it gets a little thicker and thicker and thicker no no it was it was like it was like instant it was it was gooey um so i had to throw the first batch the second batch i still wasn't fast enough and i was pouring and um it solidified part of it solidified so anyway so yeah the best um um thing to do is uh, to mix uh, just until you get let's say you put color in it just mix until it's well enough mixed just seconds really you don't even wait a full minute or anything and once it starts to feel warm in your hand because I do hold you know my resin cup while I'm stirring once you feel that warmth you know that it's it's making the chemical reaction so poor 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 and so these pieces i had to clean them up actually because i was pouring like a mad woman it's it's i mean <laughs> i just i didn't want my third batch to be another you know another fail so uh yeah i i poured quickly and so like this one right here oh my gosh it's so cute but I had to cut in between because it it had webbed fingers <laughs> I over poured and um, and then in the process of when I was cutting I snapped this finger so we'll see if I can fix it but you know it still looks kind of spooky without the other finger um, so anyway I love the the mold on this one Okay, so what I learned also, because, um, well, I'll get to that in a minute. What I learned is um, when when you use the clear molds, 
you're going to get that nice shiny, shiny uh, finish here. You can't tell with this one. I'll show you the owl. Did you guys see you get that shiny finish? It seems that it's with the clear molds. Um, when you have the colored mo color molds like these, they do not come out shiny. Um, they have a matte finish. So with, when I did this uh, carousel horse, I thought it was because I put this white pigment. Oh, I can't pick it up. I thought it's because I put the white pigment. Cause see the back, it was nice and shiny but it's the mold so um so yeah it still came out pretty because i put glitter on it but uh i do prefer the white because i was thinking i'm gonna um i'm gonna paint it uh i did clean this up quite a bit i really worked on it there's still some pieces right here but i have to get that with my tool with um the sanding tool but yeah i think it came out really really cute and looks very professional once i have it cleaned up uh i just don't have the teeny tiny brushes to um to you know get all the the areas that need to be uh colored i don't know how i'm gonna exactly color it yet i've never really colored resin i've colored um I have other molds. I'll have to show you guys that. Old older molds when I used to do. Wait, it still came out super super cute. And some of them I might just leave as is, you know, the donut I that I'll I'll color. So this one is with the Frank Garcia molds right here. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then these two were the shiny molds. And then these. Is it shiny? No, this isn't shiny. Um, these ones were the cameo. One of my later molds, this one right here. So it comes out matte. But remember, I wanted this one. I had to clean this one up too. Um, for this one, I totally over poured. As you can see, it's twice as thick as it should be. Um, here's the apple one that I really like too. The spooky apple. Really cute. But again, I have to clean it. So um, one tip, and I, I, I don't know who it was that I was watching because I've watched so many resin videos. but um, Or people doing resin. Uh, someone heated up their their knife so what you do is you take your uh lighter this one right here and i just heat it up the tip and then and then start cutting especially when you're doing the, the round parts because it will uh, uh make the resin a little bit softer to work with so that's just a tip that way you don't do what i did here and it snapped off Okay, so there's one thing. Um, I, I made more letters, so, and I also have the other mold that I forgot to bring up, but I did the spider mold, and the spider mold looks like this, but it's two spiders, and um, I thought these came out super cute, so this is gonna be really fun with um, my pastelloween projects again i had to clean this up because i over poured so that was the theme of the day i over poured nothing got tacky nothing got tacky everything was nice and hard so i did the mixing right this time um, i tried not to put too much glitter but i don't think it was the glitter that did it last time i think i just didn't mix enough these colors came out so pretty so this is the resin, the clear resin, and then I added about two drops for the pinks. I think these were all the same batch. Two drops for, it was some kind of a uh, aqua blue. And then, um, oh, this was from the previous. And then this one, I ran out of the pink. I think this was the last one I poured. 
so it actually is two-toned as you can see and I didn't think this one was gonna come out but it actually did so I just have to clean it up on the inside somehow I again over poured a little bit <laughs> so there's that one and I wanted to definitely make some more of the the books the notebooks and this one turned out pretty good except for I don't know if you can see right here you really can't tell and once you put the rings you're not gonna be able to see it but um, it is a little bit rough right here because it has a, a hole right here where um, it's because of the glitter and uh, I probably just have to sand it a little bit clean but um, this time around what I did also oh and with these letters I put the chunky glitter I actually sprinkled it directly on my mold and then I also put glitter the fine fine glitter um, when I mixed my resin and then I poured it so I definitely wanted to do a pink one so I did that one this one here is the um, the milky resin the white casting resin and I did put I was afraid it was gonna get too dark I just wanted to try it out first so I only did one drop here and that's why it's this super pale it, it almost looked white when I was looking at it and I did this at night you guys so uh, it was a little harder to see because it's been super hot here in Southern California and uh, that was the only time I can do it because it's a little bit cooler in the evening so I think this one still came out pretty cute and but it is a baby blue I don't know maybe you can see it a little better here and then this one okay so this one I ran out of resin uh, this again is with the white milky resin um, and I put glitter I was just experimenting using different glitter on this one uh, I did not tint this one but I ran out of resin so there were parts that um, just didn't have any resin <laughs> Um, so then the next day I poured some more resin just to fill those holes in and that's what happened <laughs> um, I don't know I didn't put any glitter I just put the white resin so I I think it's still salvageable I just have to sand it down that's probably gonna be a lot of sanding but it's okay this part looks good <laughs> this is for me it's not going to anybody so um, but yeah I definitely need to even this out here um, so but there's I mean there's advantages to you know you do get instant gratification when you work with the white casting resin but you have to be quick so just keep that in mind you don't stir a whole lot just mix it once it's warm pour pour right away and I guess I suggest you don't make big batches I think that's what happened with this one here too it's because I didn't want to make a, a, a really big batch um, so I ran I didn't have enough resin and this is this is the a5 this is the a6 and this is the a7 so just FYI so that's it that's my resin uh, share oh <laughs> one more thing I did the coffin it came out so pretty but I messed up too here because uh, for some reason I'm I tilted it and I was trying to level it out and look you guys this part didn't fill um, so I think I can still salvage this one uh, by now I'm I'm pretty sure I know how to do the purple because I've been doing the purple glitter so I think I know how much to pour in there but I ran out 
of the clear resin so that's why I couldn't fix this one before this video but look it came out so cute so I can't wait to make more of these and uh, more of the boxes the trinket boxes um, the trinket box mold that I have but anyway I'll be back with another haul uh, later this evening probably so stay tuned for that and thanks so much for watching uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye!